Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. Apparently, the Swedish contingent thinks that I am lying in the comments on Twitter. Nameless Twitter account demanding I read the police report. So I did as best as I could. I don't speak Swedish. Not yet, anyways. Somebody was trying to translate it. Didn't seem to match up. Somebody else said that their translations were wrong. But there are, however, text messages in English. And I will be giving you some of the most damning ones. All the most damning ones. A lot of their, a lot of the content in this police report was photos, setting up the time, place, the chronology, ASAP Rocky, who was there, pictures of the fight. Here's a nice photo of young ASAP. There are also photos from inside the restaurant catching some of the fights, or fight, however many there were. Sucks to be this guy labeling all the photos with all the arrows. You don't know who these people are. You gotta label the correct people with the correct colored arrows and the correct names. <laughs> now the biggest claim that people have been making was there was that there was a glass bottle used as a weapon to cut or stab the person involved in the altercation and that appears to be true. Here are photos of the bottles. One on the street, it's broken, followed by photos of the cuts and there are far more photos of these cuts in the police report. I just brought you the most pertinent ones you can go follow the link and look at everything for yourself. Now it is also admitted to in a text, we'll get to that later, but first, here's the first text that started it all off. We were walking and some drug head drug head ass Arab started with us. We had to we had to dust him off and his man rabbit too. <laughs> now I don't know if that's a reference to B Rabbit from uh, Eight Mile. Maybe the guy looked white to them, I don't know. But that's what I'm going to pretend it was, even though. The reply. Dust meaning you put hands on him? They say back, yes, he was on drugs. Abby got some footage. Two girls came up and grabbed their as. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty serious situation. I'm not sure the quadruple Z uh, is justified there. So a lot of talk back and forth in these tech messages about videos going up they're not happy with. Not happy with TMZ for posting videos that they didn't like. Back and forth about getting people to take down, share, put up videos, blast other people in the comments, what other people are saying. Now a text from Abby, the person who apparently filmed this, says, We watched Rocky beat the shit out of somebody. I didn't want to watch. I don't like people getting beat up. Replying again, Oh yeah, he kept following us. He was definitely on drugs. Harlan grabbed an empty bottle on the street and smashed it on the person. Now that would seem to confirm that whoever this guy named Harlem is, not to be confused with Queens, smashed this bottle over the guy and what I and I assume stabbed him a few times with it, judging by the photographs in the police report. Now Abby, who seems to be the biggest gossiper of the group, not sure if she's a head assistant to ASAP or whatever, but she seems to be the one in the know of everything, says again, he was on drugs, he wouldn't leave us alone, Big Tim choked him out, and he came back and was yelling he's going to F us up. Rocky told him to stop like six times. And then they start talking about posting a video, having all the boys share it, and they say it's been cleaned up a bit. Now, does this mean the video was edited uh, to make it shorter? It sort of sounds like they, they made some edits to make themselves look better, especially when things like this show up where they say it was done as a strategic move probably by ASAP Rocky. Now that along with the glass bottle photos and the texts are the two most damning texts and those change the story a little bit. Now a lot of the rest of the talk is talks about how taking three days to see court saying that they think the people there are racist, they won't let me go to the bathroom, stuff like that. Things we know are sort of now part and, part and parcel of the Swedish justice system which is kind of Kind of, I don't consider it very fair and free. It's kind of like uh, you're badgering the witness to try to make them admit to something and cop a plea as soon as they, they see a judge because they don't want to be in this position anymore. Now, the person online who tried explaining their version to me essentially said, and this is the only thing I'll mention because who knows if it's true, I don't believe some of their translations because it just doesn't match up with the story. I know when something stinks because it's usually me. <laughs> So I'll just mention this part of what they said where they're trying to explain the whole situation with me 
and trying to tell me why I'm wrong. Real, real not a friendly person, though. His friend went into store to drink water, so he didn't know where he went. So he asked ASAP and crew, he didn't know who they are, did you see my friend? The bodyguard didn't understand him, he was speaking Swedish, and with an American attitude, told he was a treat, a threat, I'm guessing that means. <laughs> Not a hot guy. And put him into a choke hole, which I assume means choke hold, and broke his headphone. Four girls see that happening, their account is in report. ASAP and crew try to leave fast, but the Swede says to the girls call the police what they did, and starts to follow them demanding his headphone. That's why he was following them. Now, if they called the police that soon on, before the whole headphone debacle, you'd think the cops would show up a lot quicker. But throughout this whole video, the cops never came because that happened quite early. Now, the way I see it is, if this is a guy who's allegedly on drugs, comes up to a celebrity, doesn't leave him alone, being choked out is a pretty non-damaging way for that to end. <laughs> I mean, you're getting away scot-free. A blood choke to the head is uh, not damaging at all. Getting choked out does not hurt you. You like to go for a second. If, if they're holding it, then it's, then it's a problem. But like in the movies, you don't just die from being choked out. <laughs> okay? Um, you have to like collapse their windpipe or something, but it's a pretty non-damaging way for that to end. So, also the guy said that he was, they said that the guy was going to come back and, and try to fight them. This is what the text messages say. I don't know why they would lie. Furthermore, it's pretty obvious a guy dressed like ASAP Rocky, um, a black guy in Sweden in super expensive clothes, doesn't understand Swedish, with fancy dress clothes, guys with him, and a huge guy, clearly a bodyguard, you should kind of know that you shouldn't be fighting this huge bodyguard who's protecting a per an obviously important person in relative terms. Everybody's important. The deep state, etc. I don't know what Alex Jones would think of this. Um, but you should kind of know that this guy's this person's bodyguard, I feel like, even without proper uh, conversing in your own language. Now, the bigger problem I have is that either these text messages are a lie, or they aren't. I don't think it can be both ways. If true, then it means a guy on drugs wouldn't stop harassing them, so he got choked out. He came back, he threatened them, and then he got beat up, and was also harassing other women, which is something we actually heard in the real video, where a girl says that somebody was grabbing their ass. Now, in the text message, you wouldn't just admit to some crimes and then lie about other ones to your friends. I don't see how that would be the point. I don't see how you can make an argue, argument or a judgment about that, unless they're criminal masterminds who are purposely uh, admitting to some crimes knowing that the police are going to take their text messages. But if that were the case, you wouldn't admit to using a broken bottle. You wouldn't admit to choking somebody out. You'd probably leave that out. And I don't condone st stabbing somebody with a bottle, and especially in a situation where it's four on one, their lives weren't in danger. But both can't be true. He can't be some innocent guy who is just asking for help, looking for his friend, and then gets choked up and beat up and cut and stabbed for no reason. That can't be the same while simultaneously being a guy who followed them, harassed them, appeared to be on drugs, uh, threatened them, and grabbed other girls' asses. It can't be both ways, which is why I think there's a lot of uh, mystifying by both sides in this. Now, getting choked out by a huge guy and getting away with just having my headphones broken even though he hit the guy with it bold move okay if if you get choked out if you choke me out let's say you're big enough to choke me out and you wake up because you don't just wake up right away and be ready to go again you know first of all you're just like what happened where am i did i what happened to me and then you just be like well i sort of lost that guy's huge and Clearly, I'm going to take a loss on this one. Call the police if he broke your headphones and, you know, try not to engage again. This also kind of exposes the legal system of Sweden as being pretty whacked out, isn't it? Pretty strange and not a con country I would consider to be free based on this, okay? Now, that's a completely different story, but I don't trust the whole situation, nor do I trust anonymous Swedish accounts with no profile pictures, no information. 
going to pr going around Twitter trying to prove everybody wrong about this. Sounds like you got a thing against ASAP Rocky. Maybe you're just really into justice, but it's it's all very suspicious. My mind has not been changed. I don't think it's likely these rich guys just beat up an innocent person. Remember, they've got a career and an image to protect. ASAP Rocky is their cash cow. You're not just going to be going around getting in fights, stabbing people just because they asked you something and you didn't understand them. When you beat somebody up, it's because they're following you, It's har they're harassing you, they won't go away. And that's what the video shows, just because they, if, if this guy really choked him out and broke his headphones, going up to him and getting in his face and throwing your headphones at him and stuff is going to get you beat up more. So either you're stupid or you're really just trying to expose the situation and get all the money you can out of it by antagonizing people. I don't think you per personally, I don't think you hold a person for a crime like this who's not from your country. Yes, it's bad that they used a glass bottle, but given that this is a famous person from an allied country who didn't cause threatening injuries, you find them, you ban them, you send them home. Why do you want to, why do you want these people in your legal system? What's the point? Uh, uh, you're not sending them back to a country where they're just going to be ignored if you really think this is a problem. People, as soon as he gets off the plane, he's going to be interviewed. The whole thing looks suspicious from both sides. It looks like ASAP's people may have went over the line. Looks like they probably edited video to make themselves look better. And it looks like Sweden, who already has a huge problem with immigration, is trying to protect themselves from looking worse from a migrant committing a crime against a celebrity. Now, let me know in the comments, does this change your mind? Did I do a good enough job, Swedes? Did I look into your Swedish report well enough? Let me know in the comments.